hard wiring a radar. I see everyone else do it a certain way. Uh, I'm not sure I really like all these different ways. It doesn't hurt using the relay method. Um, I want to put my new Redline 360C in until my blend mount comes for the Model 3 where I'll trim that little collar, very small with a Dremel. I want to hardwire it and I want to hardwire it uh, in a such fashion that I just can set it and forget it. So I disassembled the center console to disassemble the center console to get access to the power outlet that's in there that I tied into. You first snap off the side trim that's here. This just snaps off, just has some clips. Then this all has this framework, which is that's what this is snapped into. I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six screws or Torx you know, T15 maybes. And when I bought the hardwire kit off Amazon, that works for this one, which you can buy for any radar. This is your 12 volt outlet that's usually in the armrest. That's absolutely terrible, terrible to try to access because the escort power plug don't even plug in there and I can't even close my armrest. It just hits everything. It's just, it's not right. So I use the OEM style tape. So I got two tapes. I got the 3M. You know, the good stuff. Super 33 Plus is pretty good. Then I got the OM style cloth tape. Uh, a lot of European cars use it. So I just splice very carefully. Got in here. Put it in there. It's fused down in here with a 2 amp fuse. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I tucked it down so I can have excess in here. Carefully ran the wires. Well, there's a motor over here you want to be careful for. So I zip tie to keep the wires here to the side so they can't get tangled into this actuator arm, that white one you see in there. A lot of space in here, by the way. A lot, a lot, a lot of space. Do not pull on this. This does not come off. It's actually like melted to this plastic right here. It's like melted onto it, so you will break it off and it will rattle as you're driving. At the same time, I also want to relocate my Sentry port to the glove box, like the newer Model Ys have and Tesla has. So I just got a USB extension disconnected from inside. And I also needed a, a USB uh, additional port for something else I want to use that's external so I don't have to worry about getting access to things. So in here, you'll see we got the Get Jetta hub. I drilled a small a small hole right here so the USB and other wires can pass through. I figured now is a good time to run these wires for my accessories later. I will clean that up with a grommet, obviously. And what I did, I just measured. I let the charging pad drop down, made sure I was going to hit it. I used a little, little hole saw, drilled right through, ran my wires through. I even taped the wires into here to keep them away from any moving parts, hinges and such. Routed them through to so the zip tie here, zip tie here, and I think I zip tie over here too, just to keep everything away from moving parts and keep it neat and factory looking like. So when I sell the car, I'll leave the hard wire in for the radar. Don't care, it was 18 bucks on Amazon. I'll leave it in there. Don't care about that. Someone will have accessory power, which is nice, who really wants it. That radar shuts off. It has a timer on it. You can set off like four hours, two hours, whatever an hour. There's a couple settings for that radar. So you can set that, shut that off. So back to the sentry mode one. That one of these wires is for that. That goes, that ties in from the back. I pulled out that USB and I got it. Uh, where is it? Do I have another one right here to show you? I don't think I have one here handy. I think I just moved it. Oh, they're in here. So USB extensions. I got those. I ran that. That's all ran up through here. And I'm just about at the point where I need to get to the glove box. So here it is here. Here is the end of it. I'll mount this in the glove box. Now I can plug in my sentry there. So it needs a pin to get to it. Thieves just can't go into the traditional spot and snatch it because it's not there. I removed it and relocated it. Not a bad idea. It's great for security. Here's the radar wire that's going up over there. That's going there. This T-harness here. Sorry, this iPhone 12 Pro Max is garbage. It just sucks for video and I'm not a YouTuber um, this T harness for the under seat lights I don't have them plugged in right now but I need the seat lights it's real nice innovative um, if you ever want to access some other things too I found some other good access spot for those that just like playing with stuff you can snap off these back consoles they just snap right off real easy access and I'm still working in here of course and I got my fuse taps and stuff so I got can high and low outlets I can use and this can't says OBD. This came with the Hanslow uh, seat massager kit. There's a T harness, plug and play. You don't have to cut anything. Gives me my can high and low. Got my OBD best scan tool right here. It's a little expensive at $99, but this is great. I can monitor a bunch of stuff. I'll mention that more later. Why I'm doing this? Why? And people are like, why would you want to do that? You really can't do nothing to a Tesla. 
wait and see wait and see but that's it this car is very 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 easy to disassemble as you can see it just panels just snap right off man i wish uh every car was like this it's like legos so for anyone who wanted accessory power for the radar yes this outlet is constant but when the car goes to sleep it shuts off so there's nothing to worry about there the other thing i want to do too is i wanted to tap in two more wires for power and ground route them where i can ask, access them e easy leave them here in case i ever want to add another accessory and i don't have to take this apart again because it does take some time and it's not hard it just takes a lot of time it's 25 degrees right now in winter in new jersey it's very cold and my garage is full in another car for a project i have but I want to run two more wires around with a fuse down here, put a tiny little toggle switch on it so I can control it myself. Make it for another accessory. You know, if someone wants to put, you know, some type of fog light or light bar or underglow or whatever, I would have something to trigger with very easy. So I probably should have ran it at this time. I don't think I'm gonna. I might not keep this car that long. Um, there's a couple things I got in the plan. Oh, I also have the tilt screen, which is really nice. Oh, the other reason why I had to go into the center console was to power this motorized chi charger for my phone because the iphone 11, 12 pro max does not charge on the charging pad it shuts off in like 10 seconds even with no case it's annoying so i bought that and i really like to have that there the wire mm -hmm. it comes with there's no way to plug it in in there there's no way to get access it's a total nightmare for the longest time i had it ran underneath the panel and i had to plug into the USB C in the back because that's what it comes with USB C. and it was just ugly people bumped into it I was afraid it was gonna get snapped off so that's also ratted now into the center console um, I also have, what's nice about the Jetta Hub, the way it shares power. I also have a short little cable here so I can charge my draggy device. And like I said, this will be neatened up in a little bit. Three little time will neaten up. Like I said, I'll put that grommet on the hole. Just want to show people easy. I didn't see it on the forums. I'm going to show people how, how they make access to get into here. Um, a lot of things I just couldn't find, so I did it on my own. Uh, anyone wants it done that's local in the area, of course, I'll wire up anything you want. It's pretty easy. This car is very simple. I did the pedestrian speaker on my own, so now I can get boombox when I do the push. That'll be cleaned up when I put the blend mount in. That'll be a really nice touch. Otherwise, that's it. I will be putting this back together. Oh, the last thing I want to do, I mentioned, was this. Here has a central security unit. And it's just simply bolted onto the back. Two, two torque screws, it snaps off. So anyone who wants to do something fancy, like relocate your card reader to a more friendlier or a better spot, you could do that um not crazy but it is easy to do this car is very easy to change things around other than that just keep in mind when you're routing these wires um keep them away from things that snap in and screw so you don't pierce them when you put things back um when you pull on this big panel especially be very careful because these things will snap off sometimes uh so just be careful when you're prying i'm setting this video so people can look at my video so they know where to pry so when they got their little fork they're you know where to pry and they don't crack their plastic or make marks in it. I don't like any kind of marks in them. OCD. That would bother me. Other than that, I don't know. Hope this video helps someone. Because I know none of the videos I found out there are helpful. Oh, last thing I have is... It's in here. That's what I forgot to show in this video. But this is EL light. Everyone knows how cheesy this stuff is and what it is. I got it in white. It's very thin. It's USB powered. I mean, you can cut it and... 12 volt i mean 5 volt if you want but i got this to put around the skylight there's a little lip up in here i'm gonna tuck this up in there this isn't bright at all it's very very subtle so you really don't notice it but i'm gonna tuck this around the whole skylight it'll be tied into the ambient light down there so i can turn it on and off through the mcu and that's going to give a nice like sky skylight like illuminated skylight it'll be very gentle and nice uh, some of the fancier cars have it it's something simple it's something on amazon for only a few bucks um should do a trick we'll see i'll send a video of that one later because i think that's gonna be a nice unique touch i haven't seen anyone do yet in any car have a good day